infiltrating forbidden territory right under the nose of the authorities. Sometimes you just have to be bold enough and blend in to get inside the most spectacular abandoned places you can imagine. Disguised as construction crew, on a busy working site nobody would ever stop you. But there is also another approach. Reach out to the landlord, be kind and ask for permission to explore the premises. As a result, we were able to visit this stunning decommissioned power plant, unique in the whole country. In our final episode of Poland's Undisclosed Landmarks, we head to the colossal remains of Grand Industry. The exploration of two more powerhouses is the crowning achievement of a remarkable golden autumn adventure. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to get notified when we upload new content. We finish our road trip series in the heart of Poland. This is Łódź. With more than 700,000 inhabitants, it's one of the country's biggest cities. In only a short amount of time during the 19th century, Łódź was turned from a minor village to Europe's most important textile metropolis. Today, the city is a testimony to the time of the Industrial Revolution. Factories from a bygone era lie idle and appear like post-apocalyptic wastelands. During our day trip to the city, we wanted to explore two of these sites. Let's start with the behemoth of Łódź. A massive abandoned power station that can be seen from miles away. With its tall chimneys, the two impressive cooling towers and the solid concrete block in the middle of them, the whole premises seems sublime and not decommissioned at all. And yet the 20 hectare land with several buildings was abandoned five years ago. We were told about security on the compound and we weren't sure about taking the risk. But then we came across those two master urbexes who motivated us to venture inside. We tried to find a way onto the premises, but getting past the fence was a challenge. Luckily, those two smart boys found a workaround. They were just leaving the property when we arrived. Now we knew how to get inside. It looked like the demolition of the plant was already well advanced, but the construction machines have been idle for some time, so we hoped that there was still plenty of interesting stuff to explore left behind. Unfortunately, we were already too late to see much of the cooling tower. The catwalk was already removed and so we could only enjoy the view from downstairs. Five years of construction, the thermal power station started operation in 1960. With eight boilers and six turbines, the plant had enough capacity to provide power and hot water for the following centuries. With the growing demand, the site needed to be reconstructed multiple times. Later, it was decommissioned because of environmental restrictions and the development of the local heating market. In 2012, the plant started to shut down. 
In 2015, the decommissioning process ended. Come visit the plant today to experience a great scenery for photographers and adventurous people. But it's also dangerous. There are piles of rubble everywhere. It all seems like it could fall apart at any moment. But as long as you mind your step, you can easily enjoy a mind-blowing view you will not find in your everyday life. Just see for yourself. Dieses Stück Beton da oben, was da so rumbaumelt. Ich weiß nicht, ob man das sieht. Da will ich irgendwie hochkommen. Das sieht richtig cool aus. Okay, also muss ich mir jetzt mal überlegen, wie ich da hinkomme. Das ist ein Klettergott, ja. Aufgebaut wie ein riesen Labyrinth hier. Das erstreckt sich bestimmt über insgesamt 200 Meter. Wahrscheinlich sogar noch mehr. Etliche Stockwerke. Man kommt bis da hoch. Alles ist irgendwie verbunden. Überall fehlt mal ein Stück. Soweit wir wissen, ist hier alles ziemlich gesichert, nachdem Leute diese Türme hochgeklettert sind. Und äh, entweder gab es einen Unfall oder die wurden einfach nur gesehen. Ich weiß es nicht, auf jeden Fall. Patrouilliert jetzt hier immer Security. Das wurde definitiv schon zurückgebaut hier. Da wurde das überall abgeflext. Und hier ist die Sicherung. Ziemlich massives Teil. We are a few years late. Before they started demolishing the plant, there was everything left behind and explorers could experience a fully intact but yet abandoned power plant. A Polish explorer provided us with these pictures. He also helped us with some of the locations we wanted to see on our road trip. We highly recommend checking out his website if you're interested in more abandoned places in Poland and all of Europe. Find the link in the video description down below. Unfortunately, security showed up. They were patrolling and we didn't want to get caught. 
So we decided to leave before they could spot us. Although we haven't seen all of the plant yet. Today the demolition of the power station is paused. The new property owner wants to turn this industrial wasteland into office buildings and apartments. But wrecking the place is illegal because the historic preservation office didn't approve it. So demolition needed to be stopped. Since then the new owner makes heavy losses due to these restrictions. This is an attractive property. It has its own railway sliding, it's close to the airport and the freeway. The compound is located in a busy area close to the city center. Thousands of people are passing by every day and by now it became a well-known landmark of the region. If we come back to Wuj one day, there might be barely anything left of it. But until then, the eerie ghost towers overlook the city and point us to the next and final location of our Poland adventure. The main reason why Wuj became a town that big is the former textile industry. Spread all over the city you can find old cotton mills. For our final exploration we visit one of them. The remains of the most famous one, the Scheibler factory, are a construction site today. An investment group decided to turn the huge premises into a new and modern city district. During our visit in October 2019, they were in the middle of their latest building phase. Even in the UK, where the Industrial Revolution started, there were only a few factories that big. Poland's king of cotton was actually a German by the name of Karl Wilhelm Scheibler. He was one of the most important industrialists in all of Wuj. He owned one-seventh of the urban area and his spinning mill was the biggest one in town. Several thousand employees were working here at the end of the 19th century. Still today, the remains of the historical factory seem tremendous. Nature had taken over what people left behind. Art was filling spaces once occupied by machines. The whole site was abandoned after the end of the Cold War. For us, this was another exploration with permission. We even got this tour for free. This was a great and actually the only opportunity to explore Poland's most fascinating abandoned power plant. But since the whole site was a construction area, they were really concerned about us. To be honest, it was a bit odd to get all the safety gear and listen to a 15 minutes long presentation about safety in derelict buildings. We probably entered more ruins than these people. However, prepared like a real construction crew, they guided us to the centerpiece of the facility, the historical thermal power station. During our visit it was completely covered and people were working inside the building. So we weren't sure if we could experience the plant in its full beauty. Luckily, we could. This is a real industrial cathedral. 
Karl Scheible, the son of the rich industrialist who built the factory, decided that they needed to be independent of any external supply of energy. So a modern powerhouse was constructed around 1910. Unfortunately, there isn't much left of the control room. However, many of the remarkable details can still be found in a turbine hall, such as the towering windows with their geometrical glass paintings. The walls of the hall are elaborately decorated with yellow Art Nouveau tiles. The tiles on the floor are checked and also ornamented. The stairs have impressive cast iron banisters. The ceiling is huge and unique in the whole town. Although this is an industrial plant, it is more splendid than some of the palaces we've seen. Without any interruption, the power plant was operating until 2003. Many parts of the technical equipment were preserved. For example, the oldest turbine of the German company AEG from 1935. say it in every episode of this series, but we are really happy that two Urbex photographers joined our Poland adventure. On that road trip we were mainly focusing on shooting video. We only took a few pictures. That is why it's even more interesting for us to see the abandoned places from our trip through the lenses of our friends. If you want to discover more, visit Toby Urbex and Anonyme Knipser on Instagram. We also added their profiles to our video description. Meanwhile, the derelict plant is a part of a big project. On 4 hectares, several apartment buildings and offices get constructed. The historical buildings of the factory get transformed into restaurants, shops and communal areas. Old and modern architecture will be combined. This process is almost over. Explorers who came after us told that they were too late to see the power plant in its original state. The collapse of the textile industry was hitting the city hard. Many people moved away. Whole streets are grey and deserted today. In all of which they are relics of the industrial age. But something is happening with the forgotten plants. Art and culture are thriving. New life is breathed into the old structures. Old whoosh is dead. But the new one is rising. in Poland turned out to be a dream destination for urban explorers. The country offers many historical places rich in variety, with great stories, unique architecture and secret surprises. While sharing the episodes with you, many locals contacted us and invited us to explore their nation again. During our short road trip, we only covered a fraction of Poland. It's a huge country with many more abandoned places. This means one day we will definitely come back for a second season of Poland's Undisclosed Landmarks.
Which episode of the Poland series did you like the most? Do you want us to go back and find more abandoned places? Please leave us a comment and a like. And if you want to support our project even more, make sure to visit our Patreon page where we share cool rewards for your help. The link is in the video description. Until next time and keep exploring.